Hey guys, thank you so much for wanting this free video and this free guide on how to have a profit every single paint party. So I'm going to go into just a little bit more depth about debt, not debt, debt about how to have a profit every paint party. And the reason this is so important to me is because I was there. I remember not having any money to start a paint party business and it kind of fell in my lap and I ended up having to use my resources and figure it out. But the coolest part was, was I remembered having my very first party and having a profit and thinking, huh, let me do this again, you know, and I never wanted to be in that. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Heidi Easley. I'm the owner and founder of Texas Art and Soul and also best-selling ebook, How to Throw a Paint Party, and I changed it to How to Teach a Paint Party because throw a paint party was throwing people off. And then I also run an online membership called Paint Party Headquarters where I teach women all over the world how to have paint parties successfully and consistently. So I have been doing this for many years. Um, I used to teach, I was an art teacher for 10 years, but what I've found is that teaching paint parties has given me so much flexibility and I have just met the coolest and sweetest people and I truly believe that I can you know, show God's love through teaching other people about art and the more people out there doing it, the happier the, this place will be. So I know I'm so passionate about that. I hope you can see that, um, you know, what I say is I truly believe it. And I just want y'all to have success with throwing a paint party, teaching a paint party, whether it's once a month, once a quarter, or maybe you want to do once a week, whatever it may be. And um, I love to show people that you can make a profit every single party. And that way, when you go in to serve these women and serve these people um, and teach them, you are so excited because you know not only are they going to have a great experience, but you are going to leave that night with a profit and you're going to be able to help your family. So, and you have a lot of fun doing it. It's like getting paid to do ladies night out. It's so much fun. So I'm going to go over the three things. And this is also in your guide. But I'm just going to go over a little more depth um, about the three things. Okay. So the number one, these are my top three ways to make a profit every paint party. So number one, prepay. I put in here, have customers prepay. Um, a lot of times I have people that contact me and they're like, I'm not really sure how to do this. And they end up having a party. You know, people say, oh, there's, you know, you should do a paint party. You should do this. And then they schedule one and then nobody shows up. Well, I do not have parties unless people have paid. Okay. So here's how you, here's a couple of ways that you can do that to ensure that people pay ahead of time. And when they pay ahead of time, they show up. Okay. So that way, when I show up at my parties, I have people that have already paid and everything has been set in place. So now it's just time to have fun. So a, a way you could do that is you could offer $5 off registration if they pay two weeks in advance. So it might not sound like a lot, but people will sign up early for $5 off, I'm telling you. So you can have a special code through your PayPal and a special code link or you know how they can email you so that you can send them a link for them to pay in advance and get the $5 off. Another one, one of the ladies in my paint party headquarters did this and it was brilliant. She said she had a, a painting that had um, words on it. And I think it was a last name. And she said, if you would like to have the stencil made for your last name so that you don't have to freehand it, register before this date. Register means prepay. Register before this date and I will have the stencil ready for you. She said it worked like a charm. Everybody wanted their name all stenciled and ready to go. So she cut the vinyl stencils for them and they had their last name set for the party. So that is the first way to have a profit every party. Peep and peep. Oh my gosh. Am I going to get through this video, y'all, without saying weird words? Probably not. If you know me at all, you know I'm kind of like this. I apologize. If you're just new to me, here I am. Here I am, world. All right, number two, start advertising early. Okay, so a lot of times people think, and I actually have my, my degree is not in teaching art. My degree is 
in um, communications and in psychology. It's weird. I have a, a marketing degree and a minor in psychology. And then I went back and got all my teacher certifications and to teach art K through 12. But my degree is not in art. It's actually in marketing. So there's one thing that I learned that really stuck with me after all those years of going through college. And that was until you are sick and tired of talking about it, they are just now hearing it. All right, let me say that again. When you are sick and tired of talking about it, they are just now hearing it. Now, the reason I say this is so many people think that you just have to send one or two notices about your paint party and everybody's going to magically sign up and it's all going to be great and you're just going to stroll along on the beautiful streets and that's it. No, that is not it, okay? People need to see it about six or seven times before they will even pre-register. Yes, I know it seems crazy, but think about your own habits, okay? For those of you that go to church, when I go to church, I have a bulletin. The bulletin is telling me the upcoming events, okay? Um, you know, pancakes, you know, Sunday pancakes on this day. Um, we have this going on on this day. Oh, um, camp for my daughter Pixie. Oh my gosh, I better sign her up for that. We have all these different things going on, right? Do you think I immediately take that bulletin and I rush home and I sign up for all those things? No. Do you? No, probably not. I go the next Sunday. Oh, there's the bulletin. Oh man, I need to sign up for that thing for Pixie for camp. Oh, the pancake breakfast is coming up. Oh my gosh, there's a donation we need to do for this, you know, shoebox thing or whatever, whatever it may be. Do you think I go home and immediately get all that done? No. Do you? Probably not. <laughs> and it's just human nature. Yes, I want to go to the pancakes. I love pancakes. Yes, I want to donate to the shoebox. Yes, I want my daughter in that camp. But I wait till the last minute, like 99% of us out there. That's just human nature. It doesn't mean that I don't like their event. It doesn't mean that I don't like pancakes. It doesn't mean that I don't want to donate to the shoebox thing. None of that is true. All it is is I need to keep being reminded. And it's the same thing with you. You need to keep being reminded about things in order to do it. So whenever you are booking your events, you can't just post it once. You can't just put it on buy, sell, trade once. You can't just send it to um, the restaurant once. There has to be multiple times for people to see it. And that's how you fill events. And that is how you get a profit every party. And that's how you can consistently teach paint parties. Again, um, whether you're wanting to do this, you know, once a month for a fun family vacation, or you wanna just help pay for groceries here and again, um, or maybe you just want to get out of the house. Maybe you just like to gather some, some ladies and have some fun, uh, whatever the case may be. I just want you to do it where you have a profit every time, because when you do that, you can walk into a room and not be resentful thinking, oh my gosh, I'm already behind. I'm, I already don't have the money for this um, or whatever the case may be. You know, oh my gosh, I'm walking in and I'm already in the red. No, 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 no. Profit every paint party. Okay, the third way. Use what you have and buy as you profit, okay? The reason this one is so important is I, you know, had kind of got thrown into teaching paint parties here and there. I have, you know, lots of stories and blogs if you want to check them out on my website at texasartandsoul.com. However, when I moved back to Texas, I was approached by a teacher and she said, hey, do you, have you ever done like a paint party? And I, on my desk, I had this little filing cabinet and I had a picture of me teaching like 20 something women starry night. And I was like, you mean like this? And she goes, yes, exactly like that. Could you teach, you know, the ladies at my church, we're going to get at my clubhouse. Could you teach a painting like that? And I was like, yeah, sure. That'd be great. You know, and I was teaching full time and I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and do this. Well, I did not want to go, I wasn't planning on going into full-time paint party business. You know, I was teaching, I was going to retire as a teacher. That was my plan, right? Well, I didn't want to go out and buy a ton of new paintbrushes, 
Plus, if you've read my stories or know anything about me in the past, you know, over 10 years ago, we filed for bankruptcy and we lost everything. So I couldn't just go and get a business loan or, you know, go take out a bunch of money. And plus, I don't like borrowing from people because of our past situation. So I didn't want to go borrow a bunch of money. So what I did was I taught without easels. I taught without aprons. I grabbed all the random brushes from my own home art studio. So nothing matched. And when I taught that, I still made a ton of money. I think my first party with that one, I, I charged $25 a person. And now I charge $35 to $45 a person. But at that time, I, I was like, yeah, $25 a person, that's fine. And I made a profit. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, you know, it still worked great. Canvases were flat. Nobody had on aprons. Be careful, it's permanent. If you get it on your clothes, go straight to the bathroom. And guess what? I recently did a party. I flew across the country to Florida and I did not drive. So I had all my luggage packed. I didn't have room for easels. I didn't have room for aprons. I did a party of 65 women with no easels and no aprons and it still worked. So I'm telling you guys, some of y'all think I need to have 10 of this. I need to have 10 of that. I need to have 100 paintings painted before I can even start this business. It is all a myth. You are holding yourself back because of things that do not matter. Okay, and I am saying this with love because I truly want you out there teaching paint parties, learning how to make a profit every single party so that you can help your family. I love art. I love painting more than anything. And I know I'm not the best painter in the world, but here's the thing about paint parties. You're not teaching fine art. You are teaching fun crafts, fun little things for decorations, all of these fun, exciting paintings that people just want to hang up. They might, they might be seasonal. It might just be something cute to hang up for Christmas and then they take it down and bring it up the next year. So I think sometimes we put so, so much pressure on ourselves when it's not even necessary. Another little tip for you that this isn't even on the thing. You don't have to have 100 paintings painted before you even book a party. I actually prefer not to have any done before I book a party. Then I ask the customer what they want, okay? There's so many things and tips and tricks. And if you want to learn more, I have a whole paint party backstage pass that you can check out. It's in the notes here in the end, PDF with the Profit Every Paint Party. You can check it out there and see if you want to take the course. It's six backstage passes plus bonuses. My daughter even makes an appearance and tells you her, her tips for hiring help for paint parties. But it has so much information, a ton, just the marketing. Just the marketing pass alone is over an hour long with all of my up-to-date, all of the current tricks and tips that are working to keep people consistently teaching paint parties. And this doesn't just work for me. And um, like I said, I have a paint party headquarters right now. And depending on when you're watching this, I only open the doors for that membership a couple times a year. And um, that depending on when you're watching this, it may be open, it may not. You can always check that out at texasartandsoul.com to get on the wait list. But there's hundreds of women in there too that are teaching paint parties using these techniques and these tips and tricks to make a profit every time. So I am so excited for you. I can't wait to see what you do with your paint party adventure, your art adventure, and I'd love to hear back after you take some of these tricks and tips and let me know how it goes. Again, I'm so excited for you, and if you wanna know more, get the Paint Party Backstage Pass. It's a super, it's, it's a crazy deal. Plus, um, you won't regret it. The marketing pack alone is worth it. So I hope y'all had a great day and I hope you enjoy this. And until next time, bye guys.